As promised, I said I would go over the auto flex on the front of the car since we just got back from Myrtle Beach uh, and uh, put about 500 miles in the car. Probably just 500 miles in the car since I had the auto flex put on. And thank God I had the auto flex put on today. I was driving out to Hickory, North Carolina, pick up some lumber. Yes, in the Model 3, I was picking up lumber. It was just some eight foot boards of, of walnut to match my dash. Check that video out. <laughs> but it wasn't for the dash or anything in the car. But my dad went with me and on the way back, we were driving down the highway and we were on autopilot looking at the map to see which way it was taking us, the back way or the, the normal way. And all of a sudden a car in front of me ran over a tire, kicked it up in the air and it smacked my front bumper. It scared the crap out of me. I was actually hoping that it was gonna be picked up on the dash cam. Here's that footage. It's really crappy uh, because we were, were heading into the sun and it was actually raining at the time. So uh, with the sun coming up behind, it was a pop-up storm. So the sun was out and it was raining. It's kind of weird. So it was mostly white. So you, really you'll hear the audio right here. Where is it gonna take you the back way or is it gonna take you up to 77? That way. What was that? Fire. You've got to be kidding me. So right away from that, I actually pulled over to the side of the road. I saw a truck sitting there and figured, well, if there's any damage, I'm going to go get him and we're going to file a claim. Uh, I actually got to the front of the car and to my surprise, I didn't see anything really. Uh, I didn't film anything on the side of the road because it was a very narrow road, uh, really narrow highway, and I didn't want to get hit by a car. So um, I figured my dash cam picked up all the footage, but it didn't, unfortunately. It just picked up the audio. I couldn't change the, the video quality at all on that, unfortunately. Let me show you what the damage was. All right. Now, I haven't cleaned anything. These are the bugs from Myrtle Beach. Right here, you can see where part of the tire hit and luckily it looks like it was mostly the tread and not the, any steel beam or steel at all. Right here on the front lip, there's actually some scuff marks, but they rub off with my thumb. I was able to do that in the rain on the highway. So those are coming off. That looks like it'll come off. Underneath the car, there's some scuffs from that but that's underneath the car and you actually can maybe see a line that goes back where the tire went up underneath so thank god i had this stuff on there i'm going to clean it off a little bit and check the damage out and if there's any scratches i have to take it back to the guy to get him to buff everything out i'm going to be taking it to a show next month here in mooresville next month there's a cars and coffee here in mooresville I'm I'm gonna take it up there and have it in his booth. So he's gonna detail everything, clean it up really nice, uh, wet sand it and buff it out. So actually all this stuff should come right out. I'm gonna throw some water on this and clean up the front end, get all the bugs off of here cause there's a lot. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So now I'm definitely sweating. Just finished wiping off the front bumper and uh, I do notice one little mark. It uh, looks like there's something there. There's little marks that I don't want to actually rub too hard. I want the, him to do this. I want him to uh, buff it out. Uh, he's the professional, I'm not. Uh, let me show you the hood, I'm, but I'm very impressed with this stuff. This stuff is pretty durable and it's not even a month old. Uh, how it was able to take a tire going 65 miles an hour. Granted, it was just the tread off of the tire. It wasn't the whole tire. That would have dented my bumper and probably would have set an airbag off if I hit it 65 miles an hour. The front of the car took the collision of the tread of the tire. It went underneath, I drove over it with very minimal marks. Let me show you the stuff I found. It's gonna be hard to see anything now, but everything's wiped off, all the bugs are wiped off of it. Right here, you see a couple marks. Let me get close. And then a little bit down here, he can wet sand those and buff those out. This, I can feel a little edge. I don't know if he can do anything with that, but man, you have to get super close to it or you have to have someone point it out to you. Normal everyday use, it's gonna look like a bug. So it's not gonna be a big deal. And even if I did stop and get the guy's information, the truck driver, He's gonna say it wasn't him. He hit the tire too, and no one's gonna admit anything. I'm not gonna get the front bumper resprayed. That's dumb, for just for a little scratch. But I'm gonna see if he can touch that up, see what he can do, 
and uh, I'll give you an, I'll give you guys an update on that. But all it has on there is just the front clip is auto flexed clear with 12 layers, so it's a very good protection, thick layer on there. And uh, if need be, we peel this off, the front bumper off. It's just in the clear stuff. He can actually just respray that bumper. I don't want him to do that. <laughs> I won't have him do that. That's kind of ridiculous for a little tiny scratch. But uh, you know, if it was major damage, if, say the tire was coming across and it just ripped to the whole front like that, but didn't damage the bumper, we can actually just peel off the Autoflex and just spray the front bumper and it would just be fine. So just a little update on the Autoflex. There's nothing else on there. There's no other chips or anything from the road. It looks perfect. I don't remember anything hitting. It's nice and smooth. I've got a coat of wax on it right now just to help the bugs clean off a little easier, but um, it feels just like paint. It's amazing. If you're in the Mooresville, North Carolina area, come to Cars and Coffee in Mooresville. It's the third Saturday of every month. I'm, my car is going to be on display uh, in his booth, showing off the Autoflex clear protection, the other Autoflex vehicles that he has. I do have samples of the Autoflex to show you how thick it actually is from when I peeled off the, the headlight there. So let me know down below if you have any other questions on it. I'll answer them because I always answer all the questions. Thanks everyone for your good feedback. And if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link below where you can help out the channel. I've got a lot of cool things planned for this channel. I've got a lot of products I want to get out for the Tesla Model 3 and I want to share it with you guys first. Keep you everyone in the loop. So. Thanks again, and I'm gonna go inside and clean off. Let me show you one more trick I did to the wheels.